This is the first session with Albus. His baseline greeting behavior is excited jumping. Our end goal is for him to be able to greet politely with a calm sit. This video will summarize training concepts from our lesson. Albus has a strong history of practicing jumping. The more he practices this behavior, the more ingrained it will become. Therefore, management, or preventing the unwanted behavior, is an important component to his training. We will be using environmental options, such as keeping Albus behind a gate or on leash until he is calm. We also want to encourage and capture appropriate greeting behavior. Capturing means rewarding unprompted, desirable behaviors as soon as the dog offers them. We are catching them getting it right. Once Albus understands the behavior we are looking for, we can gradually introduce stimuli that would normally trigger him to jump. This is called proofing. We will start small, then increase the intensity of the distractions as he succeeds. As we discuss Albus's history, I capture any desirable greeting behavior. With capturing, we are waiting for the dog to offer behavior on their own. It is not necessary to ask them to perform that behavior. The first behavior we captured was a sit, and now we are capturing Albus as a good choice to maintain that polite sit. After a few moments, he chooses to lie down, which is another acceptable interaction. He is rewarded for being in a down position and continues to be rewarded for maintaining the down. This concept is also referred to as catching them getting it right. It's easy to play this game with a portion of your dog's daily kibble ration that's been set aside for training. Anytime you catch your dog doing something right, reward them. Now we are doing some proofing or setting up scenarios that we know will likely excite Albus and tempt him to jump. The goal is to introduce these setups at a low intensity. Here we are starting with small hand gestures and increasing the intensity First, his owner lightly taps her chest with both hands, pretending to beckon Albus to jump. Next, while tapping her chest, she adds small hops to increase the difficulty. Finally, she graduates to exaggerated arm waving and more pronounced hops. We are setting Albus up for success so we can reward him for keeping all four on the floor. Part of management is avoiding reinforcing the unwanted behavior. Albus is seeking attention when he jumps, so the appropriate response is to completely ignore him. Surprisingly, even saying no or pushing the dog away can inadvertently reinforce the jumping. A common trigger for jumping is when the owner enters the home. If it is not feasible to have your dog gated away from the door while you enter, you will need to preempt the jumping another way. A good strategy is to keep a container of treats outside your front door. Anytime you enter the front door, Grab a prepared treat and be ready to reward the dog's approach. Make sure to reward your dog before they can jump. Remember, reward your dog for all four on the floor. Many dogs will remain in an elevated state for several minutes after your arrival. During this time, they are still at risk of jumping. Continue to reward as you walk through the home until their excitement diminishes. Some dogs will jump to grab food that a person is holding. We use the it's your choice game to prove no jumping around food. To play the it's your choice game, show your dog a piece of food. Hold the food in one place and allow your dog to try to get the food. Some dogs will jump, some will nibble or paw. Avoid saying no or pulling your hand away. Simply close your hand around the food. It might seem counterintuitive, but with consistency it is highly effective. Once your dog stops actively trying to get the food, reward. Your dog will quickly learn that the best way to get the food is actually to stay away from it. Here is Albus' response after playing the It's Your Choice game for less than a minute. Once he understands the game, he offers head turns away from the food and waits for a reward. Keep note of anything that triggers your pup to jump. Incorporate those triggers into your training sessions. Kneeling or crouching at a dog's level is a great example of a common real life situation that could stimulate a dog to jump. Begin rewarding as soon as you kneel before the dog has time to jump on you. Albus finds humans at his level very exciting and given his history, it is likely that he will try to jump immediately. He can be rewarded preemptively as soon as the trigger of kneeling is presented. 
remember to gradually increase the difficulty as your dog is successful. Next up is the look at that or engage disengage game. The end goal is to train the dog to give eye contact around distractions. To achieve this, start by rewarding the dog the instant they look at a distraction. In the video, Albus's owner says yes when he looks at me. When he turns back to her, Albus is given a reward. Over time, distractions become the cue to give eye contact to the owner. If Albus had been too distracted to play the game, we could have increased his distance from me and or used higher value treats to help him be successful. Here is the greeting setup we did at the end of the lesson. Time to test all the skills Albus and his owner just learned. Let's see how they do!